That's our top story this morning. In other news, an urgent review of prescription drug addiction has been ordered by the government after a rise in the number of people becoming hooked on painkillers, sedatives and antidepressants. NHS figures show one in every 11 patients in England has been prescribed a potentially addictive drug in the past year. Juliet Dunlop is in a chemist's in southwest London for us this morning. Morning, Juliet. Now, we know this is a massive problem in America and ministers want to stop it getting any worse here. Yes, morning, Charlotte. Millions of patients are routinely given prescription medicines every year to deal with things like pain, insomnia and depression. The problem is many of these treatments can be highly addictive and now ministers fear we could well be heading in the same direction as the US currently in the grip of an opioid crisis that's killing tens of thousands of people every year. And as you say, an urgent review has been ordered to try to find out just how many people are hooked on prescription pills. It's been called no less than a public health disaster. Addiction to prescription drugs ruining millions of lives. Even TV soaps like Coronation Street have included a storyline showing the character of Billy becoming hooked on painkillers. New figures show one in 11 patients are being prescribed medicines that could be addictive. Prescriptions for antidepressants have doubled in the last decade and one in 12 adults are getting hold of painkillers not prescribed to them. Now the government has commissioned a review into why so many of these drugs are being prescribed. You're talking about a, a figure that probably runs into millions uh, and, and I think that's enough for government to look at this very seriously. There are warnings that Britain needs to tackle the rising addictions before we reach the epidemic levels in America. This starts with a prescription drug so it's a very silent killer so being smart like the UK is doing and being able to look at this ahead of time is really going to help save a lot of people. The British Medical Journal is among those calling for helplines and treatment services to help patients and deal with the growing crisis. Juliet Dunlop, Good Morning Britain.